Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Marco and today we are back with more One Piece. I will be watching episode 637, 38 and 39. The last set of episodes was wild. There is so many things happening in Dress Rosa right now. Like, I can't scoop up everything, man. Like, if I try to talk about everything, there will be something that I missed for sure, man. But some of the most important things are, of course, the reveal that the guy who is blind, the gambler dude, that I sensed he might be a very badass character, is actually an admiral. I wasn't expecting him to be on the level of admiral, so that was fucking mind-blowing, man. And you guys pointed out to me to earlier episodes where Akainu said that he will send in Fujitora, and they, the Admiral have like their nicknames, right? So he's Isho and Fujitora, and the, uh, how we have uh, Akainu, who is Sakazuki, uh, we have Kizaru, who is uh, Borsalino, and we have Aokiji, who is... Oh my god, I can't remember Aokiji's name. Like, Aokiji is Aokiji in my mind. I, I, I'm sorry, but you get the point. You guys explained that to me that uh, he is Fujitora, Isho, and he is blind, but he is Admiral and he has nasty powers, man. Uh, so yeah, they are on the island that is run by uh, one of the warlords, right? Even though now <laughs> with him resigning as uh, one of the warlords, they would have a right to be there, but they are still acting like undercover which is kind of suspicious now that I think about it. We have Blackbeard Pirate, Jesus Burgess, who showed up and he's competing. He won in Block A. Now we are witnessing the Battle of Block B and there is this guy Bartolomeo and Bellamy. A uh, <laughs> bunch of very interesting characters. Luffy is now basically <laughs> in sandwich between uh, Cavendish and... The old guy is actually the one that we saw before with those two uh, from Kano Kingdom, like One Piece equivalent China. So uh, he has a grudge against Garp apparently, but he's uh, saying that he can like transfer th that grudge to uh, Garp's children and even grandchildren. So whatever Garp did to him must be pretty wild man so poor luffy is now like stuck between those two that are after his head uh we saw uh other strokes as well something weird is going on on thousand sunny like some sort of like weird ac trip when they opened up the the, the door to their kitchen i guess or whatever uh zoro is still chasing after no zoro actually got his sword but he heard some noise like these fairies are something alive clearly man so they exist so i i wonder what's the deal with that and we saw freaking cypher pole and not cypher pole 9 we thought that cypher pole 9 was the strongest one but they have cypher pole cypher pole zero and they have like these crazy masks and designs man so robin's reaction was really <laughs> really worrying man i mean yeah she has ptsd and very bad experience with them in the past man fuck them we will protect her no matter what she doesn't have to be worried uh, ever anymore but yeah the point is that there is a bunch of wild stuff going on man it's really really entertaining so uh, without further ado let's jump into episode uh, 637 let's begin Just like, basically since the beginning of this arc, a bunch of crazy shit going down. Bartolomeo won in block B, so <laughs> my boy Bellamy went out on a stretcher <laughs> and he was all, all again encountering Luffy and he was asking Luffy, why did you cheer me on? And Luffy said, uh, he, Bellamy says first, uh, I didn't change at all, I'm who I was before, and Luffy's like, no, you've changed, and Bellamy's like, no, you've changed, 
that level of Aki, it's pissing me off how far ahead you are, man. So Bellamy was hoping like he's all confident and all of that. He's stronger. He has a big bounty. And <laughs> he feels that Luffy is way ahead of him, man. Perhaps even the bigger gap than he one shot at him, right? So that pissed him off. But yeah, that was kind of kind of nice moment and he said Mugivara no Luffy so that guy overheard that Bartolomeo and if he also has some sort of grudge against Luffy man holy shit the, the whole Colosseum in the end will turn out to be like people who hate Luffy man but uh, we still don't know obviously he was more like, like worried in a sense than, than uh, like mad or upset at him so there is that as well uh, there was a bunch of crazy moments during the battles in block b so that like ricky gladiator it turns out that it's not somebody important that we knew which i was like 100 certain it will be it's some old guy i was for a second thinking would it be garp but nah that's definitely not garp man yeah king's punch it was actually a pretty powerful punch. It was uh, able to defeat everyone except for that barrier of Bartolomeo. What the cool devil fruit, barrier, barrier fruit, man. It just creates like this like glass looking barrier and nothing goes to it, man. And he can like push it and return the attack or whatever. It's quite, quite a dangerous ability, man. He broke the arm of that fishman he rolled bellamy's ass and he defeated and tanked king punch so that guy is no joke man that's for sure the luffy managed to get away from don chin chow and cabbage <laughs> uh, luffy and his nicknames man that's that's always gonna be so so funny uh also love the caesar handover group across the bridge we are entering the green pit that looks like bowen island with all these wild exotic giant plants giant mushrooms melons and roses and we heard like some like creatures that has have like really like squeaky voices and they captured the the fish so there is somebody living on there and i don't think that there will be like enemies to us that's the vibe i'm getting but uh, Don Flamingo is definitely cooking something and Law is expecting to fight. So Don Flamingo will show himself sooner or later in front of our characters and it's gonna be nasty, that's for sure. It was also surprising that the toy soldier with one leg <laughs> has a plan to destroy the factory. And he has like this big goal apparently with his friends and he wants to save the workers in factory man. Which is really interesting. I'm waiting for, for that as well. That's gonna be something fun. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. It was super enjoyable. I'm looking forward to next episodes and seeing Luffy in action with this giant from Elbaf with uh, the Funk Brothers. Who else do we have there? Uh, the the Kano gang they're gonna be troublesome because the old dude will go after Luffy so yeah I will end the video here for today thank you for watching I hope that you enjoyed if you did please consider subscribing leave a like comment all that good stuff as always check out my patreon page if you want to see full and early reactions I will be seeing you very soon with another video until then take care and have a nice day see ya guys